What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Reverse Hive Mind. I'm your pal Sutherland, and we are playing some more Lost Judgment today. So, we just got told to go take a break. Which means we're just going to go wander around in Kamurocho. I like how the thing is, kill some time in town. I'm sure that there's going to be some sort of story event at some point, but... For now, we just need to uh, leave the arcade for story purposes, I'm sure. And uh, go find something to do. And there is literally nothing. So that's fun. So I guess we'll just go wander around. And see what there is to do. So, Minato Toto. That's like a girlfriend thing there. Oh. Hey, Yagami -san. Getting a call. Sugiura. Hey. Shirosaki Sensei and the others just got to Charles. They're getting ready to grill Mamiya san. Got it. Then I'll head back soon. Thanks. Well, that was pointless. All right. Let's fight these guys just because of... And we'll make this guy pee himself. There we go. Don't need any more pocket tissues. Uh, I like how I walked five feet away from the arcade and then it was like, oh yeah, by the way, they're here. It's like, well, that was pointless. So we'll go back to the arcade. Really? Genda. You too, Genda Sensei? What? Am I in the way? <laughs> of course not. I didn't know you still did field work. I figured if they could pull a fast one on Saurikun, I'd at least want to look him in the eye. Why are all these people here? What gives? We've been waiting for you, Yagami-san. Mamiya-san is about to enlighten us on the truth behind the groping. Good. Oh, and I heard about Sawa-sensei. I'm so sorry. Our condolences. Looks like she got mixed up in all this when R.K. was chasing after Kawana. But we're still not sure why they chased him. To figure that out, we'll have to retrace Kawana's steps. Exactly. That said, let's start with the harassment charges, Mamiya-san. <sighs> all right, time for an exposition dump. Fine. Let's get this over with. Pout all you want, but keep the answers straight. Got it? <laughs> the Hara's assault was designed to establish a false alibi for Miko Shiba's murder. So Kawana had you play the victim, and together you pulled one over on the police and the court. Can you confirm if this is all accurate so far, please? Yeah, yeah. The person who groped you on the train wasn't a Harasan himself. It was his stand-in. And my understanding is that he had conspirators to help him fabricate this event? That's right. What was Kawana doing at the time? Was he in Ijinsho or Tokyo? Didn't you hear your lady friend? A Harasan had a stand-in. And that stand-in was our sensei. You mean Kawana posed as Ahara himself? So this Ahara was actually Kawana. Huh. Sensei and Ehara-san have a pretty similar build. Not sure they could have pulled it off otherwise, you know? But some spots don't look right, like his mouth. You sure that's really Kawana-san? That part around his mouth is fake. He said he scanned Ehara-san's face and made it on a 3D printer. Oh, huh. You can print things in 3D now? 
Well, it's a machine that takes a model's data from a computer and prints physical objects using materials like resin. So if you were to scan a person's face onto a computer, a 3D printer could accurately recreate it. Hmm. You wouldn't download a face. I don't know the details, but that's what sends it used to become a Harasan. Something like this. See, with a 3D printer, a piece of a face is pretty easy to make. What the hell? I see. His eyes are hidden behind the sunglasses, and the seams on his jaw are obscured by the mask. That's incredible, I must say. With the mouth area so visible, it's too convincing to think he's anybody else. And with the prosecution assuming he's just another sexual predator, they fell for it. This is no time to be impressed. In case you forgot, he had the defense fooled too. Uh -huh. uh, right. Assuming Kawana was Ahara's double, there's still some evidence I'm iffy about. I'm of the same opinion. Okay. Which evidence is questionable? Alright, time to pull back the curtain on the case. Any evidence I'm unsure of, I need to press mommy on it right now. All right, let's try the security footage from the train car because it doesn't actually. This came out pretty clearly. Uh huh. Catch the. So uh, the guy in the back incident. is Kawana posing as Ahara, right? Yes, and he actually didn't lay a finger on me. His prints couldn't show up. <laughs> Sounds like you had a hell of a time getting this set up. I didn't. But Sensei sure did. Okay. So then, where was it? Let's press around the fibers. This piece of the puzzle still needs an explanation. Is that? The police examined the trace evidence on Ahara's hands after he was caught. And from the analysis, the same fibers from Mamiya-san's undergarments were found on Ahara's hands. That's right. If the stand-in was the groper, Ahara-san wouldn't have touched Mamiya-san at all. But the evidence on Ahara-san's hands suggests otherwise. Rather strange, isn't it? I take it there was a trick to this, too? That simple. Before I got in the train, I met with the real Ahara-san at the underground platform. That's when I had him touch the undergarments. After that, all I had to do was go to the bathroom and put them on. That's where the fibers in the trace were from. Just as I suspected, she and Ahara fabricated the harassment evidence long before it happened. What the police found on Ahara-san's hands was exactly what we wanted them to find. And it would serve as hard proof he grabbed me. The cords really ate it up. It was hard not to laugh sometimes, to be honest. You're really starting to open up. That's the spirit. Okay. We'll talk about the about this, then? Uh, the gaps in the camera. What's this? A map of the station? We made a diagram of Shinjuku Station. The platform's packed with cameras, but take a closer look and you'll notice a small blind spot. We've all been looking into it. So, let's say Ahara murdered Mikoshiba and faked his alibi at the station. If that was the case, then after Ahara had his stand and do the deed, he would have swapped at this blind spot. You... Sound about right. Is I give up what you're looking for? You figured it out. You win. What more do you want? Full confirmation. What do you make of this? I mean, what's there to doubt? Uh, you tell me? The one <laughs> running on the platform wasn't Ahara-san. It was Sensei pretending to be him, right? 
meaning? There is no more meaning. That's all there is to it. The Harasan used a stand-in to fake his alibi. Okay, so we don't have to choose the all of these. turned out to be none other than Jin Kawana, which mamiya yep. just been... Good. Yeah, okay. Well, the murder footage just popped up, so let's use that. Because we were on the right track. Any thoughts after seeing this? Stop it. You're going to look away? You aided and abetted by playing the victim, didn't you? I mean, yes. Who put this video up on the internet? Sensei did. He said from the start that once Ehara-san got his guilty verdict, he'd upload it to the internet. So that was all part of the plan. Yeah. Sensei can't forgive the law for how easy it lets out bullies. Ehara-san's the same way. His son's death was brushed aside. The court blamed his suicide on unknown factors. And that's what led them to his whole plan. The real victim is some bully who never got what he deserved, and the killer gets off in court by being convicted of battery. How would the public respond after finding out they'd game the law like that? So Kawana and Ahara's real plan was to make a mockery out of the justice system. <sighs> Seems to be going well for them. The courts are beside themselves for dragging the police into this. I guess Ahara really was desperate. He was never concerned about his own punishment. Tarnished his own name to humiliate the law. Yeah, cop or not, Ahara is a broken man. Nobody took responsibility for his son's death. And the courts all but ignored his case. No wonder he went along with Kawana. I can't even imagine it. Yeah. Sensei and Ahara's son are the perfect pair with nothing to lose. The only ones who do are the ones forced to comply. Us. Crimea River. Speaking of which, are we done here yet? <sighs> okay, we're still pressing evidence apparently. How should we be looking at this? The guy getting taken down in the footage is the railway Harrison. Sensei had already switched places with them before the scene happened. No one saw through his disguise. Makes sense. There'd be no way to swap places after getting caught like this. The sunglasses were removed too. Also, the person who tripped him was one of ours. So was the one who took the smartphone video. If nobody tried to stop him, he would have just caught anyway. But the most important part of it was pinning Eharasan as the culprit out in public. Right. If that didn't happen, the entire alibi goes up in smoke. More or less. So basically, this entire battery case was calculated from the start. Nothing but smoke and mirrors. Okay, apparently they want us to press on more. <sighs> Can you take a closer look at this? That's the Ikebukuro station platform. What about it? If Kuwano was pretending to be Ahara, then Kawana was also the man in the video before he got on the train, correct? Right. Didn't we go over this already? Uh... Yeah, we did. So why are you making me do all this bullshit again? Friggin' game. How about this, then? Alright. And this is? Before the incident, Ahari used this card to go through the ticket gate at Ikebukuro, the time of which was recorded. Right, and it was on October 7th at 7.43 a.m. Thanks, Hoshino-kun. Happy to help, Yagami-san. <laughs> At the earliest, Mikoshiba's time of death would have been 7.30 a.m. If Ahara killed Mikoshiba in the Jin Show, he would have only had 13 minutes to get to Ikebukuro. But frankly, that's impossible. <laughs> that's what's dumping you? Huh? Sensei borrowed the card from Ehara-san beforehand and passed her the key. Afterward, he slipped it back to Ehara-san when they switched places. That way, Ehara-san ended up having the time-stamped card on him. Makes sense now. So even the entry time through the ticket gate was used as part of the alibi? It all seems so obvious now that I hear it. Nobody suspected a groping was being used as an alibi for murder. Yeah, 
And on top of all that, no one knew Mikoshida had been killed during the trial. They really pulled it off. Anything else? Yagami-san, you sure that's enough? Yeah, I think we've got plenty. Bottom line, the groping was a fabrication. At the very least, we know that the prosecution's evidence can all be refuted. The courts were being intentionally misled. I'm considering filing an appeal. Are you saying you want a retrial? I am. We'll reveal Ahara and Kiwana's plot and overturn the verdict they issued. Hmm. That might be harder than it sounds. Why do you say that, Genda-sensei? Well, the previous trial resulted in Ahara being found guilty, right? As the client, if he doesn't want an appeal, there's no way you're getting one. Doesn't matter what any lawyer tries to do. If Ahara refuses to appeal, then that's that. Then we'll talk to him tomorrow. But first, we need to see how he reacts to everything we've got on him. Sounds good. Then let's meet at the detention center tomorrow. Will do. So, we done for the night? Sure are. Great job, everyone. Go get some rest. Yo, Yagami. You sure it was cool to let that mommy a chick just go home? Yeah, why? I mean, she helped Kuwana kill all those people. Aren't you gonna turn her in or something? I would, but there's nothing we can do. <sighs> nothing we can do? Frankly, we don't have any proof of the murder she was talking about. What, so this is all for nothing? Nothing directly pointing to Mamiya, anyway. Aside from Mikoshiba, no other bodies turned up. Which means all we can do is take her home, right? Sugira is making sure she gets back safe. <sighs> Fine, forget it. Why are you still here? Everyone else went home already. Come on, man, why the cold shoulder? Am I really that annoying? You wouldn't be the guy I'd call to hang out with. So if you're done, then go. Harsh. Wow. Straight for the jugular, huh? But if it's help you need, I'll be there. I've had nothing but time lately. But only if you bow your head and ask nice. Then I'll consider it. <laughs> I know for a fact you'd help me out regardless. So why waste a good bow? Thanks for the drink. Dude, come on. That was your cue to bow and ask nice. <laughs> uh, oh, Higashi. Okay. So, time to call it a day. We finished interrogating Mamiya. You think they would have at least video or audio recorded the... Uh, the interview, hopefully. If they're half as smart, they would. But I don't understand if that's a quirk of the Japanese justice system that you have evidence that the court was being intentionally misled with falsified evidence. I don't know how you justify uh, not overturning that verdict and and moving on, even if the client themselves, if the defendant themselves doesn't want the appeal. But... I would think that in the interest of justice, the prosecution would would, would want to overturn it, considering there's uh, evidence of a uh, murder. But then again, maybe not, because, let's face it, if this case came to light, it would deeply embarrass a lot of uh, power for people in both the... Uh, the police and the courts so perhaps there's not that much motivation to uh, to retry it or or bring these cases to light they may be they may be more interested in just letting uh, Miko Shiva's killers walk free and avoid the negative press oh wow Spinning kick there. Oh, okay. Let's go. 
Tap out. There you go. Forgot I was in snake style. What a waste. All right. Yeah, I got hurt a little bit. Run over to the beef bowl place, maybe. Right after we fight these guys. little traffic cone uh, mayhem. All in good fun. Uh, so, going to the restaurant here. Grab some chow anything? real quick. Uh, the Champon place. Uh, Nagasaki, Nagasaki Champon. Oops. Go ahead and Starving. eat that. Pretty tasty. Thanks. And away we go. Uh, oh, is she inside the M site cafe? Probably. So, before we call it a day, we'll head on over to uh, the M site cafe here. And we'll talk to one of the girlfriend candidates here. Hey, Minato-chan. Ah, Yagami-san, did you, uh, did you need something? What should I do next? So, yeah, the girlfriend thing again. Hey, wanna hang out? Yeah, hang out, but where? Uh, let's do darts. Hope I'm not awful at this. Well, we're just here to have a good time. No need to stress. Hopefully I won't lose like I did with Emily. Have you played before? I played that game where you try to pop a balloon with a dart at festivals. But that's different, isn't it? Well, it is a bit different from that. No prizes to win, for starters. Still sound good to you? I'll be fine. I'll try my best anyway. Not really holding out for a win, though. Ha, <laughs> well... Let's just have fun. I just hope both teams are having fun. So we'll do 301. Let's go, big guy. I'm not gonna hold back. Big guy, huh? Hmm. Oops. Yep. Still managed. Nice. Yep. Nice hat. hat trick. Not bad. No, she's not a dark a Mind dart you. ringer like a what's her face, Emily. Nice. We'll say the piano bar music is nice and relaxing. Yep. Okay. Triple seventeen, right? Where's the seventeen out there? Uh. Bruh. Mm. 
Once again with the single 17. Large oof. Wow, well, out. I'll try, to, I'll try to double 17 to just end this. Nice. <laughs> Not my finest hour. All right. Sorry, I might have gotten too into it. Oh, I lost? Fine. I did have fun, though. I know the rules now, though, so I think I'll do better next time. I look forward to it. Yeah. So, thank you for today. I'd, I'd, uh, I'd like to go out again sometime. Yeah, let's come here again. Cool. All right, so I guess we'll head back to Yagami's office because I don't know what else to do at this point. Oh, we're gonna fight the Nova Reach guy. Hello. Oh, bullshit on that. I had him what a waste. down and injured at like no health and then he was like nah, I'm just gonna ignore all your shit fam. Like thanks bro. Alright. Oh, Excuse me, I'm just trying to get my uh... <laughs> I'm just trying to get my highball and my takoyaki. What the hell, guy? Okay. Apparently, we'll just uh, beat the ever loving shit out of these guys. So, now that I know I need to button mash, I'll just keep button mashing. That was entirely excessive, and I enjoyed every second of that. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Alright, yes, give, give all your takoyaki. I know it's takoyaki, I'm sorry. I don't know why I called it a takoyaki. Like I'm some sort of... Uh, have a couple high balls. Gotta have two Starving. balls. All the balls. We got all of those octopus balls we're eating. Then cucumba, octopus, yakisoba, non-alcoholic drink, oolong tea, lemon highball, pitcher highball. It. Pretty tasty, thanks. Apparently I got the hammered, the uh, hammered uh, achievement, and we're being chased by some dudes again. Fine. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna grab a bike and hit you. Gonna have a bad day now. I was gonna try to use the uh, drunken master. What a waste. 
just gonna try to use the, the drunken master skill. Instead, I'll just kick him in the balls. <laughs> Which, in and of itself, it's its own uh, its own special move. Reminds me of the internet meme where he's like, "Grab his dick and twist it." Kind of same thing. Which that is too, and if that also is an effective move. Anyway, we'll go to the pawn shop. And uh, I'm and I will sell all the plates because the only thing they're good for is money. All right. Oops, that's not the door. That's the door. That is a big ass squirrel. What the? Destroying. So he's listening for something. I can hear. Destroying. Okay. So I think I need the dog for this. I'm just trying to remember how to call the detective dog. It's been a minute. Good boy. There we go. Who's a good boy? There you are. In harmonic. Cool. So it looks like we found some music or something right outside the office. So we'll head to the office now. And head on in. So I am curious about that. So we'll check it out real quick. So we do have the ability to decorate the room, but I don't think we have anything really worth a damn. We don't. So we'll go ahead and rest on the couch. All right, so it's time for salary son and me to interview Hihara. Better take a cab to the Tokyo Detention Center. And we're going to do that in the next video. Take care, everybody. We'll see you then.